And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Our final guest tonight here at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo and the World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest is a very special lady we have with us, Gina Goosby Fowler, who is the chairman. Yes. Chairman of the Black Heritage Committee. Yes. So what can we expect from you guys this year? Oh my God, we have such a great day planned for Black Heritage Day, which is scheduled for March the 3rd, 2023. We begin as early as 6 a.m. where we will host over 4,500 students to perform on our showcase Stars Over Texas stage. Uh -huh. yeah. And they will be able to showcase their talents. We have choirs, we have cheer teams, we have uh, bands, all of that. And then we will end the evening or start later on that evening with concert Bun B. Whoa! So do we have the lineup for that yet? Are you ready to reveal who's be, who will be performing? Well, he has not updated us on all of it, but we are ready for that. We are ready for <laughs> That's it. That's an exciting night. Yes. Now, you guys are more than just partying. You help young people. You provide scholarships. Tell us a little bit about what you do in the community as a Black Heritage Committee. So we make sure that we reach out to the African-American community to showcase and talk about the rodeo through awareness and participation, and we make sure that we highlight that information to the young Americans, our young students, and we help also host uh, scholarship uh, showcases and uh, participation to get, inform them about the rodeo and the scholarship opportunities. And we start with 10th grade up and above. All right, I mean, it's always giving back. And when you see those young people that you've helped out, and they come back here to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, and they become a part of your committee, and they start volunteering and giving back, what is that like for you to see that circle of success? It is so exciting because we actually have two of those recipients on our committee right now. Mm -hmm. Vernon Lewis and Felicia Wright, and they are both uh, in leadership positions on our team. And it is so exciting to know at the time when they receive their scholarships and they also become a lifetime member with the rodeo, and they come back to give back and help us with promoting everything that we are responsible for under the Black Now, Heritage a lot of people, when they see the rodeo and they see the cook-off, they see something that's fun. They see all the glitz and glamour, but there's work involved, and your people work very hard. Tell us about that. Oh, my God. Yes, we do. So we have two premier events that we host each year. One is the Fall Roundup Dam, which is normally held in October, and then we have our premier event, the Western Gala, which we just celebrated our 30 years. I ain't going to say that y'all didn't invite me. <laughs> y'all didn't invite me this year, but okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, our members are responsible for the table sales and so forth, but we had a sold-out event. We had over 2,900 people that participated. That's incredible. That's yes. incredible. Our largest ever, and everything turned out so well. We were just excited. And so when you became chairman, and that's no easy feat, you have to put in the work. What does it take to become chairman of the Black Heritage Committee? It is dedication. When I became chairman, it was during COVID, and to turn lemons into lemonade was a task for that, and we were able to do it. We hosted our first virtual fall roundup dance and first virtual gala, and from that Congratulations. Um, yes. we got to wrap up the show. All right. We want to bring all of our guests back in. All right. DJ Yon God, Steph Shaft, and Woo! Dez. Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Simpson for another edition that we had coming to you from the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And we'll see you back here Monday at 1030. Let's rodeo! Yeah.